This is the Polaroid Land Camera Time Zero One Step. It's also known as the Rainbow Camera, the Instagram logo, or the Polaroid that you think of when you think of instant photography. You may have heard recently that Polaroid has started making its instant film again under the brand name Polaroid Originals. This is thanks to what used to be known as the Impossible Project acquiring the brand name and patents, allowing them to produce Polaroid film again. So, how does it look? Let's take a trip and find out. The Polaroid Originalist SX70 film has a very dreamlike quality to it, with relatively low contrast and sharpness, extremely warm and vivid colors, and a sort of bloom effect where the bright parts of the image cast a glow around them. The blurriness of the pictures also adds to the dreamy aesthetic of the images, but they're not necessarily meant to be that way. You see, the camera has to shoot at relatively low shutter speeds since the SX70 film only has an ASA rating of about 160. Compounding the problem, the land camera's lens has an aperture of f14. For some context, the image that you're seeing right now is shot at f1.8, and this is what it looks like at f14, ASA 160. So if you want to shoot indoors with this camera, you'll want to turn on a light. A really bright, powerful light. Even outdoors, you want to make sure you have a relatively stable hand. Shakiness or bumps can cause your images to look blurry and almost unfocused, so you'll want to keep the camera close to your body. If you're thinking this means no selfies, you're right. The camera has a minimum focusing distance of 4 feet anyway, so there's a hard limit of how close you can get. It's also worth noting that the Polaroid Originals film is not as fast as the original Polaroid film in developing, taking about 10 to 5 minutes as opposed to 3 to 5. It's also difficult to talk about Polaroid shooting without discussing price. The SX70 film costs $19 a pack, not even including shipping, and contains only 8 pictures. At almost $2.50 a picture, you're going to want to be very careful that you don't take any bad shots, which is going to happen a lot when you're starting out. But really, you're not going to be shooting Polaroid film regularly, and it's certainly not going to replace your digital or cell phone's camera as your everyday shooting device. Heck, it won't even be your everyday film camera, with 8 shots costing about as much as 336 exposure rolls of 35mm. But that's not what Polaroids are supposed to be about. They're for creating photos that are instant, or something close to it, and that are actual physical objects that can be shared by passing them around or hanging them on your fridge. They're about letting you get a little bit artistic, or a lot of artistic if you get the black and white film. It's about your photos coming with a built-in frame. Would I recommend the Polaroid Originals SX70 film when paired with the land camera? I think it's up to you. If you want to shoot Polaroid film or even instant film in general, it's absolutely worth checking out. Whether you're just getting started with instant photography or you're reliving your teenage years, it's a great reminder of how photos used to be. Nowadays we rarely see a physical picture anymore. Any photography we enjoy will be on a screen, whether on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, or even the Polaroid-inspired Instagram. With Polaroid Originals, however, you can experience how photography used to be. A tangible, physical thing. And even if Polaroid isn't for you, you find it too expensive, or you find nostalgia and romantic ideas tied to a brand name sickening, then maybe you can still get something from it. Maybe you can print a few of your pictures just to see what it's like. And when you end up making a beautiful image, you can hold it in your hand, show it to your friends, or maybe even hang it on your fridge. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing a comparison between the Instax Mini format and the Polaroid Originals format, let me know by dropping a like or a comment. Subscribe to see more videos like this. I have a few plans for this channel. Shake it, shake it.